How big was this series for you guys? I mean, it's big because we won two games, um, and they have the best record in the league. Uh, it's a big series. Um, we're just happy we ended up taking the, the series. What part of your game today was most satisfying for you? Defense. Uh, I like defense. Um, uh, it, was, it was that one play. I think it could have changed the game a little bit. Did you think up the middle you had that the whole way? Was hit pretty yeah. Hard. Yeah. So when the ball was hit, uh, I was gonna go to first base. Then they took that like the weird hop to my continue to go towards my left, and that's why I was like, I have no chance of throwing Turner out. So I just flipped it as hard as I could to second base. Francisco, I know it's just seven games out of a long season, but you played the team with the best record in baseball seven times. You've beaten four. Does that mean something specifically to you guys in, in the grand scheme of things? It means we played good baseball against them. Um, that's all it is. And hopefully we can make it to the postseason. And um, if we face them in the postseason, hopefully we can do the same thing. What do you think of Kershaw today? It was good. He executed. Um, first inning, uh, just like a typical ace. He usually just try to find the rhythm. Uh, once he found his rhythm, he, he, he executed, he located, he did well. What was going through your mind when those two fly balls off the uh, eight? I was trying to bring him back in. <laughs> uh, I, was, I was like, please don't go. Yeah. It's nice to see Ruff come through and drive you in there. Definitely, definitely. Um, he had an excellent at bat. A bat. Um, especially righty on righty, but he's normally accustomed to um, go left on right, and um, he, he did a good job. I thought it was a home run too. That one I actually went, I blew it out, but I guess the wind it wasn't helping today. What's the feeling around here today, September 1st, as you head into the final month? Sit. Enjoy tonight. I'm actually going to US, US Open. I'm going to enjoy my night with my beautiful girls, and then come back tomorrow and beat whoever we have. What does it mean for you to you know, both uh, have the game-tying RBI and score to go ahead and run in a game like this. Feels good. Feels good. You know, I contribute like I played today. Um, feels good. Last at bat against Lux, behind two and one, and, and you know, second and third there. Um, that pitch, the slider, back first or uh, back foot slider there. Just how how critical is it to execute that pitch in that moment? Yeah. Um, uh, I, I think they do an unbelievable job, the Dodgers, at basically doing tendencies and what you do and don't do. And that's not really a pitch that I really throw, so it was kind of going off the script, but I executed it well. When you have a defense like the one you've, you've had behind you all year, just how much does, does that kind of give you a little bit more confidence as a pitcher, seeing what Lindor did in that fifth inning? Yeah, I mean... Uh, I'm a ground ball pitcher, and having a platinum glove winner at shortstop makes life pretty easy. So um, do I expect that to happen a lot? No, but uh, when it does happen, it's, uh, it's a great feeling, no doubt. What's the feeling with the team after winning two or three here against the Dodgers in four of seven on the season? It's just another game. I'm not trying to – I've said this about the Braves. I've said this about now the Dodgers. It's just it's, – it's not – it's not who we play. Like this is not the playoffs. I, I, I know it may not be cool for the, the fans, kind of thing, or whatever it may be. But it's just another game. Um, if this was the playoffs, I'd be saying a whole lot of different things. But uh, it's just another game. We have a we have a long way to go. We have a whole month to go. So it's just a good win against a good team, and that's about it. That being said, Chris, this is one of the teams that you might have to beat in October. So is there, to what extent is there maybe a comfort in knowing that you guys can not only do it, but do it more often than not? None. Just just because it's just, there's there's so so much time left. I, I mean, the old thing was like, if you don't like what's going on, just wait a week and everything changes. So, I mean, we got what, five more weeks. So, I mean, everything could change by then. So, yeah, it's just... Like I said, it's, it's, a, it's a good win versus a good team. That's it. Chris, how about the way that you guys have just been able to win a lot of different kind of games this year? I mean, whether it's close games, through hustle, taking advantage of other teams' mistakes. Mm -hmm. What does that kind of confidence does it give you going into the final month? Yeah, I, I think it just it just says who we kind of are. I mean, I, I think um, if you have selfish players, then those things don't really happen. But we have a lot of guys that really care about each other. Um, 
and it's it, it's hard to beat us because like you said we can beat you in a lot of ways but I, I just think it's just more so the the team chemistry that we kind of have and what they've kind of built here you know, he takes pride in eating innings is there a certain amount of satisfaction or extra satisfaction that you were able to do it against this lineup and going toe-to-toe with a guy like Kershaw uh, I mean, I like to do it against any lineup, so sure, yeah. I mean, this lineup uh, presents a lot of uh, problems because they just don't chase anything, really. I, I don't know what their chase rate really is, but I know it's very low. Um, and then Kershaw is an all-time great pitcher, so yeah, I, I know I have to bring because I know he's always going to bring it. So um, yeah, it's, it's cool in that aspect. You ever been on the mound for a light delay like that? You what? So you ever been on the mound for a light delay like that? A lighting oh. delay? Oh, I didn't know what it was, so I mean... <laughs> And I mean, we, we have kind of the older school lights that kind of take a minute to get on. So I wasn't sure, I mean, coming from Oakland, I'm, I'm, I know how long some of the older lights can take to get on. So we're good. I'm just a guy from Oakland, I guess. <laughs> Chris, do you pitch a little differently early in four o'clock starts when you know that you have a, a bit of an advantage to the shadows? If I had the advantage in the shadows, I, I'm glad I got rid of them because <laughs> I think they did all their damage in the shadows. So. Um, yeah, I mean, I try to pitch the same. I don't, I don't think about that, honestly. I, I don't like the light in my eyes. I know they, they don't like the light in their eyes. So, um, yeah, four o'clock's a little weird.